Hi, my name is Dennis Barnum and I'm a 3D printing application engineer here at TriMet. Today I want to show you guys how to run a material change wizard on the new Stratasys J55. From our home screen, we're going to go ahead and select tools and then we're going to press wizards and we're going to select material replacement. So we're going to want to use this wizard to prepare the printer uh, for loading materials after a long shutdown and when changing a material type. So let's go ahead and press start. We can see here we have our whole dashboard of all of the material channels. So what we're doing now is we're going to change from Ultra Clear S and we're going to change this over to Vero Ultra Clear. So we're going to go ahead and select this channel and we're going to select our new material. So we're going to press Vero Clear. And you're going to see here that you get an exclamation point with the word mismatch, but that's okay. We'll take care of that in a second. So we're going to select OK. And you'll see here that we do have a mismatch. So we're going to come down to our material bay door. We're going to remove from M5, we're going to remove the Vero Ultra Clear S canisters. And we're going to take our new Vero Clear canisters and we're just going to insert each one. Nice and easy. Once those are installed, we'll come back up top and we'll see that the first one's so all set. So our dashboard says that each um, material bay is clear, so we can go ahead and move to the next step. You can also see here we have uh, head optimization selected. And so after this process, we're going to run a head optimization wizard as well. So we'll click next. We have the, we're going to confirm that the build tray is empty and clean, which it is, and that the door is closed. We'll press next. And now the material replacement wizard will commence. Now, one of the most interesting things about this material replacement wizard, as opposed to the previous polyjet generations, is that it actually um, dispenses the material onto the tray in sort of a horseshoe shape instead of um, the previous generations where it would dispense it into the liquid waste container. This is actually really convenient as it saves room in that material waste container, making it so that the user or operator has to actually empty it less frequently. So now that that's completed, we're going to go ahead and open the door. We're going to press in our little brake. We're going to turn it until it clicks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the solidified part from the tray, discard it, and then we're going to clean the tray. So let's go ahead and spin this around. And I'm actually just going to come behind it with our spatula. And we're just going to remove this part from the tray. tips and tricks about 3D printing, head over to TriMac.com to learn more.